Welcome back YouTube. This is part two of my Portland Retro Gaming Expo experience. I hope you enjoyed the first part. Uh, you got to see some of the show floor, a lot of the vendors and all the stuff that they're selling. So in part two, we're gonna see more of that. More crazy video game collectibles. And also stick around to the end where you'll see my pickups. I'll show you guys what I got at the event. I got a few things, got some DVDs. I did find some toys. Yes, I did. And also a couple autographs. So stick around to the end of the video. You'll see my haul. Enjoy.
think there can't be that many left. Well, I, 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 I know well, really, this is something that people ask me. Yeah, 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 they, they must be made. You know, absolutely. absolutely. All right, YouTube, that is it for me here at the Portland Retro Gaming Expo. It was a fun weekend. Uh, lots of cool stuff at the Gaming Expo. Got to meet the Angry Video Game Nerd, as you saw there in the video. And I got a few little pickups, nothing crazy. Not that many toys there, but I did find like maybe two or three booths that did have some toys. And I uh, picked up a couple things, which I'm going to show you when I get back to San Diego. Here's a little sneak peek right there of one of the pickups. All right, YouTube, so that was my experience at the Portland Retro Gaming Expo 2019. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, for those of you that can't make it or haven't been to PRGE before, I hope you guys uh, got to experience a little bit of what I did and what it's like to go to that event, seeing all the vendors and all the things they're selling and all the things that I did, like playing retro games, all the arcades, that, that was pretty fun. Um, one of the things that was really cool about the event is this weekend pass. It's like a Game Boy handheld system, which was pretty awesome. So that's cool. That's a cool collectible. I'm ended up keeping that one. So yeah, it's pretty awesome. And then got me this cool official PRGE shirt. Got the Sega Genesis and Game Boy that are celebrating rating some anniversaries there 30 years for the game boy i can't believe it but now i'm going to show you some of the pickups i got I did end up finding some toys can you believe that crazy one vendor did have a whole bunch of loose figures in the kind of like a bin all very cheap and uh, this is what i got all right first up i got i got this uh tusca warrior from the thundercast line of the 80s for three dollars not bad no accessories, but still cool for three bucks. You can't beat that. And also got another vintage toy from the Ninja Turtle line. This is Worm. Just look how crazy it is. The colors are so cool. Even came with the hammer accessory for three bucks also from the same vendor. Uh, so cool, not bad, not a bad pickup. All right, so I already gave you a little sneak peek while I was still there in Portland. I'm back home now in San Diego, but the sneak peek was a Masters of the Universe figure. And it's one of the giants in the line. This is from the Motu Classics line. This is Megator. How big this guy is. Look at that. Compared to some of these old figures, this is cool. And the best part about this, it was only 20 bucks. $20. This is, I found this one on Sunday. The guy had marked it down from 30 down to 20 because he had the $30, $30 sticker was behind the 20 I was trying to get him down to 15. He wouldn't budge unless I bought some other stuff for a bundle. But this is pretty much the only thing I wanted from that seller. And for $20, this is a steal. I feel like I go for way more than that on eBay. Awesome mega tour right there. Check him out. Of course, the original vintage mega tour didn't come out in America. I think it came out in Spain or Argentina somewhere like that correct me if i'm wrong uh, one of those countries but this is awesome or italy it was probably italy <laughs> but yeah this is cool he'll definitely uh, get opened up to get some fresh air we're gonna let him breathe as uh, the major wrestling podcast says uh, so yeah this is an awesome figure he's gonna look cool uh, the other multi-line this one is from a arcade game that i just love i spent so many hours playing it in the local uh, convenience store in my neighborhood back in the 90s put a lot of quarters in even made slugs we used to get on the roof and make fake slugs and play this arcade game i know it's crazy but you know, when you're a teenager and you don't have money that's what you do uh, this is from the street fighter 2 line from capcom another weird uh, little collectible here these are keychains of chun li and guile look at that they're just little mini plastic figures with a little keychain thing on the top and just look at that amazing artwork on that card this is so awesome guy one then chun li the same not good on the back but these are official uh, capcom collectibles by a company called Playco out of los angeles but this is awesome now i'm gonna have to look for any other ones see if they have maybe ryu or ken 
but the guy had these kind of hidden behind some other stuff on the shelf and um, hit them listed at six dollars each or both for ten bucks so it ended up being five dollars a piece so not bad I mean these are just awesome collectibles also on card these are so cool love Street Fighter you don't see too many Street Fighter collectibles besides like video games and stuff so this is also pretty cool I love these things I did get some more PRG merch which is these little stickers right here awesome stickers and the reason why there's two of them is because I'm gonna be doing a contest when I hit 3,000 subscribers I'm about 400 away so if you're new to the channel definitely hit subscribe so you can uh, know when the next contest is and be entered in it and uh, for all you uh, subscribers already uh, remember stay tuned because I'll be doing contests I've been doing a lot of traveling this year uh, so I've been collecting things here and there from Denver and stuff and then I'm going to Indiana next so I'm putting together little prize packs maybe do maybe two giveaways uh, so stay tuned for that and these will be part of the prize pack in the near future so stay tuned for that uh, one of the events that happens at Portland uh, Retro Game Expo every year is the Tetris Championships. And uh, while uh, the event was going on, they had a little booth of merch there, Tetris stuff. And I uh, ended up getting this documentary, The Ecstasy of Order, all about, you know, Tetris and all the people that play, all the masters. I have seen this before. It's awesome. It's an awesome documentary. So if you could get your hands on it. I know it's kind of hard to find online but they're at the event they're going for 10 bucks so i had to pick it up so it's cool to finally add this to the collection love these uh, documentaries especially about like you know things that i like like video games and stuff so yeah this is awesome all right for all you guys that have been watching youtube videos you know since the beginning uh this person right here is not only an og in the retro video game community YouTubers. He's an OG YouTuber, period. Uh, this is the Angry Video Game Nerd. James Rolfe, he was there signing autographs. He had a booth. I was able to get the AVGN X collection. Uh, he signed it right there, which was awesome. So this is the Blu-ray has the first 100 episodes of the Angry Video Game Nerd. I have them all on DVD in different volumes, so it takes about this much space on the shelf. Now with this, I'm able to downsize and make more room on the shelf. So this is awesome right here. This is cool. Got to get him to meet James Rolfe and his uh, his crew. They were also there as well. You saw in the video. But awesome right here. If you haven't seen the Angry Video Game Nerd, watch it, man. It's awesome. Street Fighter 2 is my favorite fighting game of all time. I was really good at it. And uh, one of the other ones that came out on the same time as uh, Street Fighter 2 uh, was a rival was Mortal Kombat you guys all know Mortal Kombat it's just awesome came in with the blood and the fatalities uh, amazing game I also spent lots of quarters on that but I wasn't as good as a, pl a player in Mortal Kombat as it was in Street Fighter 2 but nonetheless I did play it a lot all oh, like the first two parts were really good and uh, there at the convention uh, I met Paul Niemeyer who was the artist of the logo he created the logo this Mortal Kombat logo and the dragon in the circle uh, he created that it was pretty awesome and he was selling these uh, arcade headers which is awesome and he also signed it right there at the bottom which is pretty cool so it's cool to get a little collectible from the creator of the Mortal Kombat logo Paul Niemeyer uh, hopefully I'll find a frame that fits this hang it up on the wall but this is so cool and the final pickup for me at PRG was the only video game I actually bought at the video game convention. Uh, if you guys been watching my channels for a while, uh, you know sometimes uh, I wear like basketball gear because basketball is my love, man. I've been playing basketball since I was a little kid. Ugh, man, I love toys and collecting toys and everything like that, but basketball is really my first and my best love. Like, I play to this day, I still play every week with my friends, pick up ball, and also have a league with some other friends that we play uh, competitively in uh, one of the gyms here in San Diego. So basketball has always been my love. Houston Rockets, that's my team, hometown. I used to work for them back in the day. And uh, when it 
comes to video games, one of the funnest basketball video games ever was NBA Jam. Um, lots of course pumped into that machine as well. And of course when you play NBA Jam, or if anyone that's played NBA Jam, um, the thing that everyone remembers the most is the voice, the boom shakalaka. So I, the guy who does the voice for NBA Jam, his name is Tim Kurtzrow, and he was there at PRG doing autographs, as you saw in the video. And I picked this game up right here because I didn't have anything to sign for only five bucks. It's just cool. And I got him to sign the game right there on the cover, which was amazing. Giving him, uh, you could hear him from the floor, from probably anywhere on the floor because he was just talking in that NBA Jam announcer voice. Uh, just, you know, entertaining people, which was cool. And he also ended up signing the inside of it as well, which was dope. So it was cool to get that signature on this and meet, uh, meet him, you know, the voice of NBA Jam. I mean, I'll never forget that voice. Boom shakalaka. It's so great. So that is it, you two, for my pickups from the Portland Retro Gaming Expo 2019. If you ever get a chance to go, definitely check it out, especially if you're into video games. As you can see, uh, I love video games. I just don't collect much video game stuff anymore. As that was the only thing that NBA Jam game that I bought. A lot of stuff gets pricey, but the prices go up and down. So definitely check out PRG. I think next year it's going to be in August, I believe. It's always in October, but I think next year they're moving it earlier. But I hope you guys enjoyed the footage of PRG. Hope you got to experience a little bit of what I did. Uh, it's a funny event. And uh, stay tuned because I have more videos coming up from my trip to Portland. Uh, I got some arcade visits and also some vintage toy stores that I hit up while I was there. Maybe a comic shop as well. And uh, if you're new to the channel again, hit the subscribe button so you can uh, know when that contest is. And also to keep up with my future videos. Also follow me on Instagram at SoCalShawlin so you can see what I'm doing in between videos and uh, you know sneak peeks at the future videos. Uh, again, thanks for watching. Uh, please leave some comments down below. Let me know what you thought of my pickups, what you thought of the Portland Retro Gaming Expo. And if you like the video, hit the like button. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. I'm Sokal Shaolin. I am out.